Um, before we get started, uh, myself and Mary just having a discussion, and uh, I can't agree with some of the statements that were made during the discussion you had at the start of book group about um, the money issues, and so because I would have been much firmer about the issue. Uh, myself yeah. and Mary do donate quite significant funds to Lena and Igor, but it's certainly not enough yet for them to live on. And, and that's why they're having to do these other things. We would love to be able to give them enough funds to live on. Yes. And, uh, and as you know, uh, most of you might not be aware, but they, uh, they don't have a very good vehicle either. Um, and uh, that's very reliable. There's, uh, they've had to borrow vehicles and so forth to move around. And a lot of the times we loan them our vehicle when we can as well. But it'd be nice if we could somehow sort of give, get them a good vehicle so they can follow us around and record things and video things as they're doing. Also, many of you are possibly not aware of how much work goes in behind the scenes by, by those two. Besides being here, present, setting up, dismantling and recording everything, then on, a, on top of that, you're both feeling very uncomfortable now, so you need to feel that emotion as well. Um, um, on top of that, there's all this editing that goes on, there's all the maintenance of a lot of equipment that goes on as well. And, and to be honest, it really is a full-time job, but they're having to do extra work doing other things to just make ends meet and have enough money to live. And they don't, certainly don't have enough money at this point to afford to even put a car or something like that on high, a good car on higher purchase or something like that, you know. So um, there's not enough funds available coming in to do those kind of things. So, um, like, I'm happy to speak with you more frankly than Mary was about the issue if you want to ask questions about it, or I'm happy to proceed with this subject. Which one would you like to do? Well, I'm happy to answer your questions if, if you've got any about the subject of, of financial matters. So, Matt, you'd like to ask? Um, if we could just have the mics park, passed around now. You've got one in your hand. If, if Matt, I'm... if you'd leave your hand up. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> then they can see where you are. <laughs> Thanks, darling. It's not on? Is it on? They probably don't know how to turn it on. Yeah, now it's on. Okay. Um, is, it a, like, is there a very strong general feeling of just um, from the group just wanting to take or is there a specific money emotion as well? Good question, Matt. I, I feel for most of us it's not necessarily that you want to take because I feel that for most of you you do appreciate the gifts that you're given. And I know many people overseas who are on YouTube, you know, the 700 subscribers or so currently on YouTube, they are very appreciative of all the work that Igor, Mary, <laughs> Lena and Igor, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, we're just in so much a bad habit of doing that. Um, <laughs> I'll have to break that bad habit somehow. <laughs> and uh, so, um, yeah, many times uh, a lot of people have expressed their gratitude from, a, from a, a verbal expression. But when it comes down to life, obviously, you know, the pair of them are doing this, like, much more constantly than the majority of you would be aware. It's a good solid... If, if I can just go through maybe a bit of the time involved and give you an idea, and then... I feel what's, uh, to get back to your point, Matt, I feel what's happening is a lot of times we're not aware of how much work goes into things because we don't know. And because we don't know, we think everything would be all right. And on top of that, we assume that things, donations must be happening and things like that, so we don't know that either, even though we ourselves have not been a regular contributor. You see, it's a bit like um, if you... If, if, the 700 people who, who, who listen to YouTube, uh, you know, every month decided to actually donate only $2 a week, right, then both uh, Mary and myself and Lena and Igor would have enough money to actually live, which would be like an average wage or a bit less than an average wage here in Australia. That's what we would have. Then there would not need to be sort of people who donate significant funds or if there were people donating significant funds, we could do a significant thing with that. At the moment, 
the people who are donating significant funds are what we finish up living off of and then giving funds to Lena and Igor so that they can live as well. But there's not that regular flow. Now, there's some of you, I know, who have done this regular thing. Uh, there's a few in the audience who have done that where, you, where, where you've been deposited. And it only needs to be... Like, if it was $10 a month, it, it, it would be significant in the sense that it's every month. It's when it's just once and then not for a period of time. And then when myself and Mary don't do seminars, of course, we don't receive any donations aside from anything that's coming in. And so that means the donations go right down. So when we go overseas, for example, our donations are, you know, are not much more than, a, than about $1,000 or so a month. And, and except for a person who donates a significant amount, which usually most people, when they do that, have an idea of what they would like it to be used for, right? And we try to honour that as well. But, but when we go away, for Lena and Igor, well, I feel for them, we're, we're all right, <laughs> generally. But, but with Lena and Igor, when we're away, they're still doing all this work because they're still processing every video that we did while we're overseas. In fact, it's more work for them. Uh, because when we're travelling, we've got less sound equipment and less everything, so there's more editing to do. And, and so a lot of people don't realise the work that goes involved for, for both of them. So there's two of them for a start. Now, if you look at the time they spent just here at Book Group, they spent three hours, so there's six hours of their time. Then on top of that, Lena is now the person who does most of the editing of the Book Group. That usually takes her anywhere from four to six hours. So let's say it's four hours. Just to, right? Then on top of that, there's the actual equipment has to be formatted, drives have to be changed, uh, charging has to be done, and all of those kind of things ready for the next one. So let's say you took about an hour to do all of, you know, an hour to do that. So there's one hour. And this is with a one to two, a two hour book group. So imagine what it's like with a four hour seminar. So with a four hour seminar, you double that. With a four hour seminar, it takes nearly 12 hours, eight to 12 hours to do the one seminar and get it ready for YouTube. Then, of course, if we want to do a DVD of it, right, it has to be processed. So once it has, so we've got the DVD production. So this is editing of it. Now we've got the DVD production. We've got the YouTube production of it. And then they give it to me and I, pr I do all of the sound production of it. Mm. Right? Then I do the edit of the website and put it all on the website, all linked. So that's what I'm still doing. So if you add up, you start adding up the time, but from there down is somebody else than them. But you're still adding up many hours of work just for one thing. Now that's without us paying for a venue Without us paying for that, we've van, the van is on higher purchase because it was the only way we could fit all the gear in it. So, and it was the only thing we could do at the time to buy it because we didn't have the funds to buy it. So that's on higher purchase. So that's a couple of hundred every week. We've got the higher of the hall, that's a hundred every week. Um, then, you've got, then you've got the time that Mary spends preparing for it, delivering it. None of that's included in any of this. Now... If you add all of that up, we average, if you look at the average, um, the average donation in a book group, no matter, and this varies a bit, but, but the average is $350 per, per time it happens. And that's around among, like here it's about 60 people. Um, down in other places, obviously, it's much less. Sometimes it's ten people or five people, and so the donations are much less. But if you look at that, would barely even go, if we were actually being fair to Lena and Igor, that would barely go to even pay for their time, right? Let alone all of the other expenses that we have associated with book group. Does that make sense? Now, as I pointed out to the group today, Obviously, Mary and Lena and Igor do have emotions to work through with regard to their reception of money. You know, they have a lot of embarrassment about it. You could see Mary's embarrassment in her even raising the issue today. So, you know, there's a lot of emotions they need to work through. However, there is this other factor, and that is, obviously, part of the charter of the God's Way of Love organisation is that if we don't receive enough funds in 
to pay for something, we shouldn't even do it. And the reason why we have that as a part of its charter is because it's not right to do it. The other thing is it's not right for Mary to keep doing book group while Lena and Igor are finding survival difficult, uh, expecting Lena and Igor to, to record it and video it and do all of this work. It's not right for us to do that. So unless we have some kind of thing to give to them, it's not right for us to continue expecting that they do these things. Um, now, they want to. That's, I'm not talking about their feelings about it. I know that like, their feelings are that they, they would love to give you the shirt off their back if it's going to help you get some divine truth, right? That's the feeling they have inside of them. But, but I'm saying it's not right for us to, to ask that of them all the time. And it's not right for us to ask of them that they, they live a very meagre existence um, with the exception of the purchasing of technology. <laughs> and and they, even, they even feel embarrassed to, to use funds donated to them at this point in time for their own life because they feel like every time they get a new, some, some money donated to them, they almost feel like, oh, but I could go and get this and that and make that better for the job that we're doing. And, and a lot of times they finish up spending the funds on getting something better so that like, for example, the lights here, that was all about Lena and Igor wanting everything to be lit up a bit better so they had a better image, right? Otherwise, half the time you'd see the images in the dark, because yeah, I was okay with that. <laughs> but uh, the guys are a bit more professional about it than I am, obviously. But uh, you can see that just from the time perspective, without even what they spend personally, um, it's just, yeah, quite... Now, what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to give quite a lot of donations or as much as we can to Lena and Igor to support them. But obviously, we've got to also then balance how much we actually live on ourselves. So, so that it gets to be this sort of fine balance. So I feel the issue is partly that most of us are not aware. So getting back to your question, Matt, I feel most of us are not aware of the work that it goes in, on. You know, we, but if we sat down and actually spent a bit of time thinking about it, we would be aware that there's six hours of their time being used. Well, there's eight hours of their time being used today, for example. Then, of course, there's going to be, like, whatever my presentation is and what Mary's presentation is, added together. That might be four, four hours in the end. And if there's four hours of presentations, then that's at least eight to 12 hours of editing that they do behind the scenes. And then, of course, there's the conversions to DVD, YouTube, and whatever else uh, we decide we would like to do, which, which can take a couple of hours again, or even if they only take 10 minutes to set up, and 10 minutes, they, by the time they, they chew up all this time. So, you know, quite often they get up in the middle of the night and start off another process, or they start off another process before they go to bed, and as soon as they wake up in the morning, they you know, start another process, because all of this takes a lot of computer power as well. And uh, as a result of that, it takes a lot of time. The reality also is that myself and Mary can, can, can actually deliver a lot more truth, but there's no means to record it or time that they have to edit it, any, or, and money not available to edit it. So, so we, can produce, we can produce it, but it will only benefit the people who we're standing in front of. Right, at the moment. Whereas if, uh, if the guys had a pretty consistent flow of income coming in from it, we could actually produce you know, more material. And I know many of you feel like that we've probably got too much already. Right? <laughs> but, but the reality is there's so much variety of material that can be produced. And then if one of the others of the 14 get going, starting producing material, some of these guys that are, you know, others of the 14 that I know, they, they are far more prolific than I am when it comes to producing material. So who's going to edit all that? Who's going to present all that, right? And so, you know, you can see that it's, a, it's going to be an ongoing process until there's some regular stream come in. Now, um, and to me, this is a sort of like a mid to long term issue for them, you know, um, because in the end, we still want to deliver material, but it'd be great that it benefits far more than just the audience we're standing in front of. 
And that's the beauty of what they're doing. It benefits a worldwide audience. So, you know, Igor and Lena came into my life um, quite a few years ago, and Igor saying to me in that beautiful Russian accent that he has, um, we need to get this on YouTube, you know, and uh, <laughs> not that I've done that very well. <laughs> and we need to do this and we need to do that. And, and like I said to him, I haven't got the time to do all of that myself. Uh, you know, imagine if I had to try to edit every talk that I gave, I'd be giving a talk plus going through all of this process, which is what I was doing at the beginning. Um, so, you know, to, uh, from us, from our perspective, they are a huge assistance to getting divine truth distributed. Um, and it's just a matter in the end of you understanding and appreciating, I feel, how much of their time goes into it. That, you know, there's a huge amount of time that goes into it. Anything else? Uh, Mary's on this side. So, so a good way for us to donate would be to go into the website. Yes, on the Donations to Others page, you'll see Donations to Others. They, they are listed. They have a PayPal account mm -hmm. and you can donate regularly. Like once a, They also have a bank account. You could set up a regular... Debit. The same applies to Mary and, I, uh, uh, Mary and myself as well. We have a regular one. It's far better for us to receive regular small donations than it is to receive intermittent larger ones, if you think about it, because it's like when we get the intermittent larger ones, it's great. We can go and buy something or do something, you know, equipment-wise or whatever, but uh, the regular ones are the ones is the way we live. And so uh, if there's that regular flow coming in, then it's a lot easier from a planning perspective, we don't have to worry about the regular income, so anything more that comes in, bang, we can use that straight away to do bigger, bigger projects that we want to get done. Um, whether those projects are on a, on a centre or privately, some people have donated uh, funds to us privately that we live on um, just because they want to give us a gift, but, uh, but that's often not a regular thing, of course, because yeah, people can't afford to do that generally. So uh, a regular donation, and particularly for my feelings are for Lena and Igor in particular, a regular donation is the thing that's going to help them a lot because it's like if a few people give uh, just a small regular donation it can add up to hundreds of dollars a week which means now you know and eventually it can add up to you know six, seven, eight hundred dollars a week enough for a wage sort of thing that they then sort out for themselves um, and then they're fine, they, you know, they, they're not going to want to go and do jobs for some local person, you know, unless there was a real passion or desire in them to do it, you know. Um, and they can spend more time getting a lot of the God's way of love stuff out, which we're currently not doing because we just don't have the time. So at the moment, the priority for them is we're trying to produce all the divine true stuff as soon as we can. We're... we're I think at the moment this is the best we've got it right at this moment and I think there's still a backlog of nine or ten talks. So you're talking a backlog of editing that's around about 80 hours, right? Now that's about as good as we're probably going to get it, a backlog of where it is now. Um, but, but if we add God's way of love stuff to it, man, you know, we could easily have backlogs in a week of that amount. You know, so, so sooner or later we're going to need other people editing and so forth. But, but if the very persons who are doing most of the editing at the moment don't even have enough funds to do it, then I doubt whether we're going to ever attract enough funds to pay for somebody else to, to almost do it full time as well. Yeah, so my feelings are that uh, there's a lot of material and there's a lot of material being produced that you don't see as a result of there just not being enough resources, basically. Um, and enough time, yeah. And if we can make their life a little easier, um, which is what our attempt to do is, then there'll be more time and uh, therefore more available in return. Yeah. Not that our motive should be selfish. 